So what you can't see from this graph alone is that all of the pre and post assessments that are documented on the front here are also stapled to the top, multiple staples there, for the pre and post assessments. Um, for example, when the pre-assessment was given for multiplication on 123, that is um, listed back here um, in the folder. And every time the child gets a pre-test score that's written at the top for 20, and then it's go, it's goes, the child goes ahead and documents it 20% um, on the pre-test here. And then when the post-test is given um, after the unit, then the child goes, goes, goes ahead and documents the um, post test results. So you can see here that every time the child takes the pre-assessment, they're much lower, the 80 they're much higher on the post assessment. This was on the strand of multiplication, this was on the strand of estimates and the estimating, this was on the strand of fractions and time. This thick black line here is the aim line is 80%. We say that if a child is 80, is at 80%, then they're at um at core for that strand. And um the other piece that you can't see is that when students take this assessment, not only do, and they're doing this, again, it says right here the third quarter, they're taking this throughout the quarter, is not only are they marking it on the answer sheet, but like the EOG, they also are practice taking it on a Scantron bubble sheet just for bubbling practice. We just feel like if kids have more chance bubbling, the more likelihood they are to do better on the EOG because we actually feel like we would probably get 10% higher on the EOGs if kids didn't have to bubble in on a Scantron because so many errors are made from bubbling. So you can see from here that the, actually the child did make a bubbling error because um, actually they did better um, than they, they did better on here than they did on here So because it's to do to a bubbling error. So we give kids lots of chances to uh, take these pre and post assessments using a bubble sheet just for practice. So I hope that explain, helps explain the um, the, mon the monitoring progress sheet for uh, mathematics for common formative assessments that the third grade team makes and gives administers throughout the quarter.